This meshing of century-old tactics with state-of-the-art hobbyist tech, overlaid with the brutality of war, paints a harrowing portrait. A brutal footage shows the heartbreaking final moments in the life of a Russian soldier seen trying to escape from a Ukrainian FPV kamikaze drone attack. The kamikaze drone appears to be teasing him as it slowly edges closer. However, when the soldier turned around to check how close he was, the drone hit him and exploded. While in this footage, shows a Russian soldier trying to fend off an FPV drone with a petrol bottle. However, his efforts are unsuccessful, and the drone continues to target the soldier. Then, from a distance, a video from another camera shows an explosion, likely caused by the gasoline in the bottle. FPV drones are extremely dangerous to exposed infantry, but armored vehicles can usually shrug off multiple strikes by FPVs and keep fighting. But that seems to be starting to change. It seems Ukrainian drone crews have found some way to massively boost the explosive potential of a single FPV. For example, as seen in this footage, a Russian T-72 tank equipped with protective layers or nicknamed the Turtle tank is trying to carry out an attack on a Ukrainian position. With the skills of a Ukrainian FPV drone pilot, the drone flew through the open part of the Russian Turtle tank and landed right in front of its turret. So a powerful explosion occurred and threw the tank tower several meters upwards. Normally, an FPV strike on a tank would result in minor damage. This time, however, the T-72 exploded in a huge fireball that separated the turret from the hull and burned the crew. FPV drones have become crucial tools for Ukrainians, helping offset equipment shortages such as anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs or artillery systems. Usually associated with one-way, kamikaze, missions against enemy equipment and personnel, FPV drones can be also used to drop grenades and other custom-made munitions, allowing one drone to be used many more times. Recently soldiers of the 55th, 59th, and 72nd Brigades, supported by adjacent Ukrainian Defense Force units, stopped a mechanized attack near Krasnohorivka, Donetsk region. Published footage shows two Russian tanks and three infantry fighting vehicles. All Russian armored vehicles are protected by an anti-drone grill. It can be seen that the Russians used thermal smoke equipment to disguise their actions. In response to the attack, the Ukrainian defense forces used FPV drones, multicopter bombers, mines and artillery. The Russian attack was stopped, the Russian armored vehicles were destroyed and abandoned. It is worth noting that fragments of the video show the use of FPV drones, which probably have the function of capturing a target. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Monday denied Russian forces had captured a village in the eastern Sumy region, where the leader of Russia's Chechen Republic said Moscow's forces had advanced. Ramzan Kadyrov said on Sunday that Russian forces had seized the border village of Ruzhivka. Zelensky said Ukrainian forces were in full control in Sumy and that Russian sabotage groups operating there had been destroyed. As for the village of Ruzhivka, the occupier tried to implement a propaganda operation there. As of this morning, the Russian flag in the village was destroyed, and there is no occupant presence, Zelensky said in a statement on social media. He repeated that fighting in the industrial Donetsk region was the most difficult, and that Ukrainian forces were doing everything to stabilize their positions there. Sumy lies on Ukraine's northern border and has not seen a major Russian ground assault since the beginning of the conflict in 2022. Kadyrov had said that fighters from his Akhmet battalion, together with servicemen from other Russian units carried out tactical operations and liberated another settlement from the enemy, he said on social media. As a result of large-scale planned offensive actions, the Ukrainian side suffered significant losses and was forced to retreat, he added.
Yuri Zarko, the Ukrainian head of the local municipality, denied Ruzhivka had been captured and told state broadcasters to spill there were no Russian troops in the village. Zelensky had warned last month that Russia was amassing troops along the northern border ahead of what might be a new offensive. Authorities began evacuating residents living in some border towns and villages in the Sumy region last month, citing the risk of increased Russian attacks.